Hello again, everyone. I'm back again so soon. And today I have the pleasure of sharing with you Lurid Lacquer's April Collection. And so this is um, the Reemergence Collection, and it's, it's a beautiful one. Uh, and along with this collection, she's also releasing the Forever Weird Mini Collection, which were former gift for purchases, and then also a Brain Tumor Awareness Charity Polish, polish named uh, To Love Deeply is To Grieve Deeply. And I don't have video of that one, but I do have photos of it, and those will be on the site as well. So this beautiful collection launches April 19th, Friday, April 19th at 6 p.m. Central Time, and pre-order will be open through the 26th of April, 11.59 p.m. Central Time. So we will get right into it, and this first polish, um, it's once again based off of um, a poem that the maker wrote. This is Beloved. It's an indigo jelly base with iridescent flakes that shifts from purple to blue, rose gold metallic flakes, and light effect of glitter and aurora. And I have it in three coats for these shots, and I just kind of swatched two, but it's such a beauty. And then there's You Must Leave This Place, and this one's described um, as a periwinkle base, and it has indigo shimmer, and it shifts to red at extremes, which you can kind of see some of that in the bottle, some of like the extreme red, but... It's kind of your standard periwinkle shimmer and Lurid does such beautiful shimmers. I ended up doing three coats for most of these polishes as they are a little bit on the sheer side. Nothing like crazy sheer or like offensively sheer, but they just probably need three coats, especially if you have longer nails or you could use a blurring base. As per usual, I do a clear base just to kind of show opacity of polish. But this is really such a gorgeous collection. I only did two for my swatches as per usual. But this is, you must leave this place in three coats over my natural nails. And then one of my favorites from this collection is you have grown so vast and boundless. And this is also a periwinkle base. And this polish has a pink to orange to gold Aurora shimmer that shifts to green at the extremes. So this is just one of my faves. I, I love it. I love the strong pink shimmer of this one. And all the, the whole meaning of this collection is so beautiful. Um, the maker behind Lurid Lacquer, she's very, very talented, a talented writer and creator of polish. I have just been so um, happy to work with her. Um, as a you know as a as a swatcher and you know happy to work with and super happy to support as well i've just felt really lucky and then so this is you have grown so vast and boundless in um an array of lighting this is three coats you can see that gold shift there and then my nails are a little shorter right now but you can really see how strong that pink shift is and then the next up is this comfort now constrains you and this polish is described as a sheer or semi-sheer lavender crelly and it has a pink to orange to gold to green aurora shimmer so you can see how strong the shimmer is on this one they they are so glowy i mean my camera is not playing any tricks on you with how glowy these are if anything my actual camera flattens the glow for polishes but you can see this is pretty sheer um as some of them are, but it really builds beautifully. And um, I mean, once again, this collection is really gorgeous. It is, it's about healing. So you'll see that um, the shade descriptions, these are in order and they are just, they have really beautiful names and meaning behind them. And all together, it's a really, really gorgeous collection. So. Yeah, I really, really enjoy this one. This one's this comfort now constrains you. You can see it's super glowy overall. This is three coats, so I've got some pretty substantial visible nail line, but nothing too offensive. Here's one of my favorites again. This is Go Forth, and it's described as a grapefruit pink curly base with uh, orange to gold shimmer. And um, grapefruit pink is so the right word, so the right description. I love this one so much. I'm a big fan of pink grapefruit and pink grapefruit related things, so this is the perfect one for me. 
Um, so Lurid still has kind of low caps, just, you know, if you're looking to get certain things, you might want to make sure you're on right when the store opens because Lurid is a one woman show and she's killing it. She's kicking ass. Um, but you know, the caps are low right now because it's a lot of, I mean, it's so much work that goes on in the background for all of this. So if there's anything that is drawing your eye, some stuff is also coming back from the other collections, but you know, just make sure you're on right when the shop opens to make sure you get what you want. So this one's go forth and then we have be brave and just. And this is described as a pink jelly base and it has a vibrant pink to orange to gold shimmer and pink reflective glitter. And you'll see this one's a little thicker on the reflective glitter side. But I love reflective glitter. I love it. It's so sparkly and beautiful. <laughs> so um, I did two coats for I did three coats for all of these as well but you can see this one's just like a little bit of a thicker polish with that reflective glitter in there but not too thick it's a really great it's a really great polish overall especially if you like pink um and towards the end of this video I don't have swatch video of the forever weird collection which is some which are some of the most gorgeous polishes that I've put on a really long time. I mean, all of them, all of these kind of are, but um, I do have movement video, so I'll do a quick little roundup of those, before, you know, at the end of this video. So for right now, this is Be Brave and Just, and this one's the Pink Jelly. Base with the vibrant pink to orange to gold shimmer and pink reflective glitter. Look at it. Look at the shiver. <laughs> Look at the shift. This is such a good one, and the formula is beautiful. It's not like thick, thick. It's a really beautiful formula. And then we have Make of This Terrifying Gift, the second to last polish. This um, is described as a semi-sheer cool pink base with purple to pink to red shimmer, rose gold metallic flakes, which I feel like I love rose gold, so I'm always happy to wear anything that has it. And also has a little bit of linear hollow in there as well, which you can really see in the sun. You can see it here. It is showing up, but this is such a cool polish. I really enjoy it. And then um, it is a little, once again, on the sheer side, but it builds beautifully. I really like the addition of the flakies in here. I feel like it makes it super unique. And it's, I mean, as per usual, everything builds beautifully. Um, Lurid Lacquer is just great. So I know that my videos right now are also like a little truncated, but I'm still getting my office all set up, so... While I have stuff filmed to swatch, I don't have like, I can't, I can't really do intros and outros in the way that I would like to do, but we're making it work with what we've got, right? So this is Make of This Terrifying Gift, the semi-sheer cool pink with the shimmer and the rose gold. And this is the final polish of the main collection. This is your Bounty Joy. So the full collection in, the, in order of name, it's Beloved. You must leave this place. You have grown so vast and boundless. This comfort now constrains you. Go forth. Be brave and just. Make of this terrifying gift your bounty of joy. Like, how beautiful is that? It's super moving and especially, you know, super inspiring as well if you're trying to do something new. And it's, you know, it's scary. But your Bounty of Joy, this final polish, is a warm purple curly base, and it has iridescent flakies that shift from pink to orange to gold with pink light reflective glitter as well. Um, I'm loving the flakies in this one. This polish is really beautiful. But as a whole, this collection is so gorgeous. I mean, it's, you know, so many options for whatever your, your flavor is of polish. These probably need a little bit of a glitter grabber on top. I think the formula is gorgeous, but they do need a little bit of glitter grabber. And then after I show off this beauty, I will show you the five of the Forever Weird collection and we'll wrap it up with from there. Um, so the first one for Forever Weird is <laughs> Automotive Salad Toss. These are actually shown um, in two coats, an emerald green with vibrant green Aurora Shimmer. And it also has like a bit of a shift to teal. And then there's Why Would I Wear Lipstick, which is a cherry red jelly with red to orange shimmer. And then 
there's my favorite French Hornist, which is like a super saturated blue base with large particle blue to purple Aurora. And we have Rub Down, which is a pale peachy pink that also has red to orange shift and gold Aurora. Um, this one's definitely shown in three coats, but it's such a cool color. It's really flattering too. I feel like all of these colors are super flattering. And last but not least is Margaret's Threadbare Hoodie. It's an indigo base with purple shimmer and linear hollow. So this is the entire gorgeous April launch for Laura Lacquer. Thanks for sticking with me while I, you know, get my stuff together while I move. Have a good one.